President Uhuru Kenyatta has defended the government's investments on the Big Four agenda on infrastructure projects, saying the big push for investments is about laying the ground for Kenya's economic takeoff. The president has assured Kenyans that this will transform the country's standings in the community of nations and form the basis of national prosperity and creation of decent and steady jobs. The big push investments are about laying the ground for our economic takeoff. Many Kenyans have asked why my administration is investing in big infrastructure projects. Why roads, rail, why ports? Indeed, when Cecil Rhodes, the British colonizer, and his cohorts dreamt of the road from Cape Town to Cairo, their vision was not the road. The road was not their dream. The dream was what the road would do for them. In the same vein, our brick and mortar investments of roads, rails, and ports are not the dream. The dream is what the big push investments will do for Kenya and how they will transform our standing in the community of nations and form the basis of national prosperity and the creation of decent and steady jobs for our people. Take, for instance, the Lamu port, which I commissioned two weeks ago. It is the first port to be built in Kenya since the port of Mombasa in 1896. For 115 years, no government has built a deep sea port on the East African coast of the Indian Ocean. Kenya is the first country to do so. Similarly, the history of this port dates back to 1972 when the idea was first hatched. It took 49 years for us to conceptualize and mull over this port, but we, in a period of eight years, have made it a reality. Once this port is operational, Kenya will have claimed its stake in the Indian Ocean real estate, the port of Lamu will be able to handle ships the size of those that transit through the Suez Canal. And this capacity will not only increase our transshipment business, but will also impact over 130 million residents of the East African region. 